Flyweight bout here. Edgar Shires coming in at minus 245 against Daniel Lacerda, a.k.a. Daniel Da Silva, coming in at plus 205 over under one and a half rounds, plus 170 for the over, minus 210 for the under. Under is always going to be steamed in a Daniel Da Silva fight. One and four in his last five, but if you look at him in the UFC, he's 0 and four. But the way he fights, that's why he's getting a, a, another fight in this one. Uh, always must see TV when Daniel De Silva steps in the octagon. Edgar Shires, second fight in the UFC here. First fight was a, a debut. UFC 290 against Tatsuro Tyra, who's a big dog in that one, and uh, put on a pretty good showing considering the, the betting line. But either way, took a loss there. Hoping to bounce back here. See the ages very similar. Frames pretty pretty similar. Uh, this should be a fun fight. I mean, always a fun fight with Daniel De Silva. Edgar Shires is not some slouch by any means, but Daniel De Silva is always dangerous in that first round. So it's like you're usually better off just betting the other guy after the first round because De Silva, as much as he gets finished, or he, he's been finished for, all straight four times, it's not like he's getting cold cocked. It's not like he's chinny or anything, or he just you know doesn't have any submission defense it's like he just fights wild and he just gasses out if you can withstand that early onslaught you know you're going to eventually find the finish i think that's what cj vergara did in the last fight he took a huge like he got knocked down like two or three times but he <laughs> just knew as long as i keep running around and stay alive like eventually this guy's going to gas out he did gets the finish in, in the second round so i don't know i mean to silva plus 200 is always like Kind of looking good considering you get that first round finish. What are you thinking of this one? Yeah, dude. I this is this could be fight of the night. Like this is two fighters who are gonna stand and, and trade shots with each other. And you know, I think in Daniel Lacerda's last fight, CJ Vergara is pretty damn lucky the fight didn't get stopped because he was knocked down over and over. Shaky legs would get knocked down again. Like some refs would have stepped in and you know made it a standing TKO or fin you know, after the last time he dropped would have would have called the fight. So uh, Lacerda, I mean, he's live for that first round finish at all times. He can do it on the mat. I mean, he had some submission attempts against CJ Vergara early too. Um, you know, he always landed a knockdown to where he could get a club and sub. He can put the lights out. I mean, some of these guys he's fighting are lucky that they're tough. I think Edgar Shires is tough as well. I think his chin's going to be pretty good. Didn't really have to show up much against Tatsuro Tyra, who's not really the best striker, but he showed he can survive on the ground too. So it's going to be a dog fight for either guy. Edgar Shires. Um, pretty good submission game himself. If you watch his tape, he get, he's gotten six submissions on his record. He's been submitted a couple of times. So there's another you know area you could maybe see Lacerda sneaking in some kind of choke early. But as far as who's going to be there in the middle of the second and third round, it's going to be Shires. He's going to have the gas tank to do it. Uh, he's going to be swinging uh, later in the fight as well. And if Lacerda hasn't fixed that gas tank, which would be kind of hard to do in five months, uh, I think he's going to be in serious trouble if he doesn't find the first round finish. I, I like Lacerda. I like watching him. I'll tune in every time he fights. But Shirez is a guy who you could look up and might go on a little win streak here. Like he's pretty skilled all the way around and he's really tough. So if you can't finish him, um, you better be able to go three rounds and at least win a couple of those rounds. And I just don't think Lacerda has the ability to do that. So I'm going to pick Shirez for the pick. I will be watching for that first round finish for Lacerda, see if he can finally get it. Um, you know, betting wise, if you're on Lacerda, I mean, see what kind of number you get in the first round. You never know. But uh, I think I think Shirez probably does win the fight. Yeah, I mean that was the longest fight of Daniel Lacerda's career his last time out. So maybe the gas tank's getting a little bit better. But uh, he wasn't CJ, there in the second though. He wasn't there at all. <laughs> CJ, CJ, I just don't think he has the quite the finishing ability to put him away yeah. that early. And he was just trying to recover from everything. But yeah, I think Shirez never been in, having been knocked out. He's been submitted twice. Lacerda's got some good submissions. I mean, you saw that mm -hmm. at a calf slicer. He put CJ Vergara, yep. and I was like, hold my breath there. But he's going to be uh, dangerous on the ground. But I think Shirez knows that he just can't get finished early. Eventually, he'll find it. Um, at the same time, I'm like, this is just a fun fight to take Lacerda at, at the plus money. Um, if you're going to bet Shirez, I would either bet him round one finish or just lie bet him after the first because Lacerda could either gas in the first and get finished in the first, or he's going to win the first round. So, yeah, that's the way I'd go about it. 
for the pick, I'm going to go Shires because I do think he's durable enough to withstand it. But uh, always a fun way to go about it, just taking Daniel De Silva. Uh, 